We have a one liter vessel, three moles of chlorine, five moles of bromine are mixed. The equilibrium constant, 50. What are the final equilibrium concentrations? In other words, what's the equilibrium composition? So, Jessica Rojas, what should we do? Do ice. Okay. So, Pablo, what are you going to put? In Remember what time? What type of table do you want to make? Big M table. So, yeah, did you hear them? Got to divide the moles by the liters. How many moles of chlorine? Three. And yeah, there's just one liter, so it is just three. But just wanted you to realize that because almost all the homework they're not going to say one liter, right? So this is going to be three. Bromine, everybody, is going to be five. How about the bromine chloride? Or dash, right? Healthier than zero because dashes work for solids and liquids, too. Okay, the change row. Alexa, how are things going to change? Minus X. Yeah, perfect, excellent. Reactant change is negative, so you're going down, product positive. And she grabbed the dark metric coefficient, good. The equilibrium rule, Mariella. At equilibrium, what are gonna be the concentrations? Three minus X, five minus X, and, and two X. Okay. These are our answers. Those are the answers. You just have to find what X is. Okay. Jessica Vaughn, it seems like with our little questions there, it wasn't quite enough because we just did, we made a concentration table. We did. But. You need to know what X is, so what are you going to have to do? What would be the next logical thing? Okay, she's using that 50, that 50 using the KC. Exactly. <laughs> right, the KC, you're right. What do you call it? The KC ex, expression, right? The KC expression. Right? And don't put in the numbers right away. Write the KC expression, otherwise you're going to forget the square or something. Right? Okay. So my KC. KC. Right? KC is products all over reactants. And that's going to be BRCL to what power? Squared. It's going to be chlorine to what power? Yeah. And bromine also to the first. Now we can substitute in our numbers. Okay, good. So KC is 50. My bromine chloride, bromine chloride at equilibrium is 2x. So you got to put that up there. Just don't forget to what? Square it, because it's the concentration of bromine chloride squared. Right? That guy is squared. Chlorine. What do you put in for the concentration of chlorine at equilibrium? Three minus X. Chlorine is five minus X. Okay. Yeah. Now yeah, we're stuck with that quadratic. Genevieve, remember the goal of this quadratic thing is to get AX squared plus BX plus C equals zero. Get in that format. We got a ways to go. What would you like to do first? Okay, do that squared part. So that's 50 equals, what's 2x quantity squared? 4x squared. Okay. 
What would you like to do next? Mallory? Oh, she wants to do the foil thing. Okay. So that's 50 equals 4x. Can they got to help me, Mallory, since I don't do foil? So multiply through by the 3, yeah. and you're going to have 15. And then you multiply through by the negative x, and you're going to have negative 5x plus x squared. Okay. Okay. Adrian, what do you want to do now? Now you find like terms. Okay. That's a good idea. If there are any, and there are, what do you end up with? X squared plus a minus 8x plus Okay. See what he combined? The negative 3x and the negative 5x. We're getting there, Lewis. Now oh, what? Okay, that diagonal thing. So you got to get the 50, 15 minus 8x. Now that whole thing is supposed to equal what? You follow the diagonal. Right now it equals 4x squared. All right. Okay. Whoop, ran out of space. So. Javier, remember the goal. AX squared plus BX plus C equals zero. What would you like to do now? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Let's multiply that 50 through. 50 times 15 is like 750. And then 50 times a negative 8 is a negative 400. And 50 times x squared is 50x squared. That whole thing has to be 4x squared. Okay. Matteo. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you subtract four x squared from both sides. You end up with what in front of the x squared? Forty six. Let's write him first because that's my a minus four hundred x plus seven fifty. Okay. Now I know what every my a b and my c are. Right. My a is forty six. B is Negative 400, that's a big deal. And my C is 750. Now, I gave you the quadratic equation, but it's probably going to be burned in your head pretty soon. Negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. Yep. Okay. So, uh, let's see the color here. Negative B, that's going to be positive 400, plus or minus. Negative 400 squared minus 4. A was 46. C was 750. All over 2 times 46. Now, what you could have done, you could have divided all through by that equation, this one right here, you could have divided them all by 46 if you want. And then you have smaller numbers everywhere. But I say you have a calculator, so why mess with it? Just keep going. All right? Less steps. Okay. Hopefully, hopefully, three, four digits, let's carry three, four digits all the way through. 400 plus or minus 148 over 92. So, you end up with or x equals 
something. So 400 plus 148. Divide that by 92. About, yeah, around 6, 5.96 or so. 400 minus 148 divided by 92. I got about 2.74. Okay. Makes sense. Okay. Okay. Well, what's a negative number squared? Negative goes away. Remember, it's negative B, Amanda. Look, negative B. So you have to put a minus in front of the negative 400. It ends up being positive 400. Okay. We have two possibilities. And remember, our, we want to write out, let's write out our answers here, our equilibrium composition. Chlorine was 3 minus X. Chlorine is 3 minus X. And what else were our answers? We had bromine is 5 minus X. And we had one more. BRCL, thanks. BRCL is 2X. That's the thing, yeah. If we have two X's, we can't have two concentrations. I mean, it seems like everybody got the 5.96 and the 2.74. I think those numbers are right. We can't have two concentrations. No. What is this bottom? Okay. I get the, you have 3 minus x and 5 minus x. The 2x you really can't go by. Can you have a negative concentration? No. So only one answer is going to make sense. The 2.74. That's what you kind of got to look at. Only one of these makes sense. So that's going to minus 2.74, 5 minus 2.74, 2 times 2.74, because the 5.96 is too big. You get negative answers with it. Okay, so what do you get? 0.6. Thank you, sir. What's that one? 5.28? 5.48. Thank you, sir. Okay. You go through all that work, get all those answers, and Smith still takes... You don't have the big end. You've got to have units on your answers. You could write moles over liters, but big M's faster. <laughs>